My name is Tom Williamson and I'm Park Creek Antiques and I've been lucky enough to have been uh, headquartered here with Cindy and the Court of Two Sisters for the last 18 years. Uh, I think it's one of the most fascinating stores in Pinellas County, primarily because of the variety of things that we have. We're a multiple dealer store. Um, unlike a traditional antique store, one owner, he likes one thing, he buys one thing, so your whole store gets filled up of whatever it is the guy likes. We have 20 to 25 dealers at any time, so at any time you can walk through here and we just have an amazing amount of variety. This cabinet here, some of the different things that you can see, you can see uh, jewelry, you can see contemporary collectibles like Yadro, you could see a little bit older collectibles like Beam. Um, cigarette cases, old purses, mother of pearl handled silverware, uh, and a cigarette holder that would sit on a lady's dresser, open up and it's actually a music box when, it, when it's opened in place. Uh, one of the neat things that we got a little while ago is this piece right here. This is a 1918 um, national cash register made for a small department store or hardware store. So if you look what this one has that makes it a little bit different is seven different drawers so that the clerk could, uh, he'd have his own key and he'd ring out his own drawer and nobody could shortchange his drawer or mix it up with anybody else's. Uh, makes it real neat. Plugs in, lights up, the whole bit. Uh, one of the neater things that we found here recently. Okay and then over here uh, some of my favorite type of things that we do here. Uh, figural porcelain. So you can th see things like Majelica, that's a Royal Dalton up there on the left, the Lion on the Rock out of their Prestige series. More Majelica here. Royal Ducks pieces uh, around turn of the century from Czechoslovakia. Down here is a beautiful piece of Murano. We do investment art as well. This is a Rosen. He was one of the last of the master glass blowers uh, out of Murano that started training as a young apprentice at about age 10. He was tragically killed in uh, 1991 on a water scooter accident, so his artwork has really been appreciating in value. You can find this particular piece, it's called uh, Portrait of a Woman Nude, uh, for up to about $10,000. You can find it here for about $3,500 with a custom display space uh, to help show it off to its best advantage. Uh, one section of the store, one of my particular favorites, I bred and showed dogs for 20 some odd years. So we do a lot of figural porcelain in the dog, cat, bird, animal porcelain. And that can be Rosenthal, Hutchinruther, Meisen, some of the better stuff besides Royal Dalton. Okay, one of the really fun things we can show you as you come through here, on our end, we never know what anybody is ever gonna ask for when they come in through the door. Uh, there is just a huge variety of collecting interest out there. So we try to cater it a little bit of that. It could be uh, colored glass, it could be old medicinal bottles razors. Uh, some of the old razors are up in the $600 range now. It's unbelievable for something out of the 60s that would have appreciated that that much. Over on this side of the store, uh, American art pottery is a real big collecting interest. Roseville, uh, Rookwood, McCoy, all sorts of different names like that. Wheatley, some of the earliest stuff out there you'll find up in here. Head vases, paperweights, different Royal Dalton pieces, all the way from the little Toby jugs up to the different ladies as you go through, Vaseline glass, Art Deco type of things. You're going to see men's watches have been hugely popular the last couple of years. We have several clients I know that come through here that have collections numbering in the hundreds. Wedgwood is one of the things that has really uh, done very, very well. And it's an e-collectible. It can go back to the late 1700s. It's an English uh, thing. Everybody seems to be familiar with it. It's like Grandma had it on the, on the cabinet that you remember. Even uh, newer stuff, this is still available today. It's a Theodore Alexander. The, the Monkey Lamp knew off their website. They're a high-end designer. Runs about $2,700 plus freight. Here you can get it. Uh, much, much cheaper in the $1,500 range. And